Hello guys, in this video I would like to talk about the brand new 777X that is going to be launched next year, this is 2019, and more specifically about its folding wings. So there are tons of uh, videos online which explain how the wings work and uh, why it needs to be folded. Well, I actually tried to recreate the wing itself, the folding mechanism itself but I searched online and I could not find any mechanism that is actually being used there I, I could only use the video that Boeing itself gave out like the introductory video to the 777 itself and also one other video that was online that actually showed the wing folding and extending like in a manufacturer's level so that's the only raw material that I got. I tried on, I tried to find out what kind of system they use. Is it a hydraulic system or is it an electric motor system? And I couldn't find anything. But I actually found out uh, from a fans page that it used hydraulic systems. So I actually thought about doing that project like making the wing itself in SOLIDWORKS and I did it so this is what I came up with but instead of a hydraulic system I was thinking about using a motor electric motor screw or worm drive kind of system and there are a bunch of reasons why I didn't use why I didn't think that a hydraulic system would be a much better option because if you are using a hydraulic system you have a lot of components like the reservoir you need hydraulic fluid you need pumps you need valves you need uh, pressure lines you need scavenge lines you need actuators and pistons and cylinders and all those things so it's a complex system and besides when you when we do the maintenance we have to check uh, whether the motor is functioning properly we have to check the fluid levels we have to see if the fluid is leaking from the actuators or any of the connections there and uh, and there are a lot of complications with that system so on the other hand i was thinking about the electric motor and screw system and i thought that would be a much more better option because if you are using an electric dc motor number one thing it can spin both ways so you just need one motor to you know extend the extend the wing or fold the wing up and the other thing is you don't need any fluid you don't need any pressure or scavenge lines you just need few wires that are going to the tip of the wing that actuate the motor i mean that activate the motor in one way or the other and the other thing is that for the hydraulic system even if we house the hydraulic pumps and hydraulic reservoirs in the fuselage of the aircraft we still have a huge risk of actually putting a wet line from the hydraulic system f uh, in the fuselage to the tip of the wing and that is a huge line that is about that comes to be about comes to about approximately 80 to 90 feet of wet line <laughs> and I don't think that's a good idea so I actually went with the motor and screw worm drive system and that is the maintenance and simplicity of the design uh, that I took into account when I figured that out and the model that you see over here it's not actually the precise model like I don't have any you know any dimensions or anything because the only raw material that I could get was the actual video that Boeing sent out the video in which they actually show the wing folding up and down that's uh, <laughs> that's the only raw material that I got so I just made this out of uh, my my imagination or whatever you can say but the only thing that is up to spec is that uh, the folding section the length of the folding section is 11 and a half feet and that's what Boeing says it is 11 and a half feet and that's what I got here so this model actually folds up and down and I'm also including 
uh, an animation to the end uh, towards the end of this video so that you can see how I actually managed to fold the system up and down so and if you want to if you want to know how the system works inside the wing uh, I'm planning to make another video just on that so so guys I hope you enjoy the animation please like my video subscribe to it and we'll sh uh, we'll see we'll see in the next video how I I actually design the interior I mean the internal stuff well it's it's just speculations it's just my idea of how it's done I've I, I didn't see anything out there so it's just uh, just my thoughts on how this thing works so just bear with me if I'm wrong and uh, I hope you enjoy the animation just enjoy it guys thanks